average is better than uh, below average. Yeah. That's what I tell myself every morning. Okay, Gary. Yeah. That's how I start the day. I look in the mirror and I'm like, Tristan, average is better than below average. Oh, I love it. But let's give it a few seconds for everybody to jump in. Uh, as you're jumping in, let us know what city and state you're from. If you're watching in the webinar, we've got you. We see you. Well, we don't see you. Don't worry. If you're in the Facebook group, LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, doesn't matter where you're at. Thank you for joining us. We've got Gary Ashton, the number one team in the world. No, no shit. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> You got listen, the world a bit right. Listen, the best team in the I was world. I was giving you more props, man. I'll take them. And plus, it's me saying it. It's not you. Nothing can happen. That's right. Like, there yeah. you go. Uh, so, Gary, thank you Terms for joining. Terms and conditions apply, right? Small asterisks. In small letters. <laughs> oh, I love it, Gary. Uh, we've been talking a lot lately, texting back and forth, talking, yeah. and today I'm excited to talk about something you've put into place because we've been looking at doing this in some way or another for years and yeah. it's almost like a central hub for homeowners because we know that homeowners now are staying in their homes longer, right? Inflation's making it harder for people to actually sell yeah. and buy. So I don't know if you know this, but in LA, People are staying in their home, Los Angeles. People are staying in their homes up to 18 years now, on average. 18 years, man. That's nuts to me. It's Is it anything to do with those uh, low interest rates or just the lifestyle change? Or just people people's attitude to living um, is, is changing, I feel like. You know, mm -hmm. I think in America, you could say that, what was it, on average, people would move every three to five years or something crazy then i remember that extended to six to ten and then like now you're saying people are going to stay in their homes because once they get in they become cocooned they don't really want to go out and leave that environment that they're in maybe they'll adapt and change to to the new environment and especially with the opportunity to maybe maybe not work full-time from home but people are having the opportunities maybe to work two, three days from home. So repurposing the home, um, adapting it. I know that people that, that, um, that the boomers, I think traditionally they would have downsized and say that would be part of um, bringing some new homes into the market and then obviously purchasing. But I think people are just happy to stay where they are, especially with those yeah. low interest rates and especially if they're, paid up because if you're going to go and buy something else you got to look at yeah. these it, it comes down to affordability man i yeah. think that's what it's down sure. to For yeah, sure. I see that. all right i'm going to show you something because yeah. you and i have seen this so i want to show it to everybody and then i want to bring it up um, I have to put my glasses on yeah maybe maybe oh yeah right. this is cool yeah yes all right so this i feel is like one vertical of the homeowner journey. So while you and I live in a home for however long we're here, yeah. this is one side of it. The other side's the a death in the family, um, family's getting bigger, something happens along your personal life. This, mm -hmm. on the other hand, is all of the different opportunities that we have to stay in front of people. And you took this and you went further with it. So I want to know, as people are watching this, or they're looking at remodel kitchen, home equity, refinance, landscaping, uh, fixing oh, the faucet, paint, yeah. all this stuff. Yeah, I think it's a bit of a cliche that we, but cliches are true. Like once we have a client, I think in real estate, we've always said you're a client for life, but I don't think we really practice what we preach because no. I feel like... Um, Oh, I lost you for a second. There you are. Um, I feel like our focus has always been on making sure that the client has the best possible experience when they buy and sell a home. Then after that, we'll say we're going to keep in touch. We're going to, um, we're always going to be friends. We're going to go out. I'm going to, if you need anything, let me know. I've got all the vendors, all the uh, the resources that you need. 
but by default was so focused on maybe the next client. So um, the, I think that the, the alliances that we've kind of made with ourselves to make, make that experience smoother and stronger is, is usually with the mortgage, with the title, with insurance and with moving. Those are the big, you know, the big ones. Yeah. And we've always had, I'm sure all the same, I've always had a plumber that I can recommend. I've always had an electrician. I've always had uh, maybe a home stage or just anything that is peripheral associated with, with owning a home. But they just our business, we're just so focused on the transaction and the life of the, the client. We've kind of paid lip service to a little bit. So okay. this is really what what we're trying to do now is is not just look at the client as a transaction. It's like maintaining that relationship with them over the the life of owning that home by living in that home. Because obviously, when they live in that home, just like you said, there's going to be refinance opportunities. There's also going to be remodeling opportunities, and they're always going to be looking for resources from a trusted advisor or from a source that they can rely on, which in my mind, it's kind of like mixing um, your Angie's list, your personal list, that now you want to introduce those people on a on a long-term basis mm -hmm. and have a resource on a spot where they can actually, instead of calling me up all the time. So this is, this is, this is what I told the agents when we were talking about um, introducing this product. It's like, mm -hmm. if Tristan, if you're my client and we go out looking at homes for, for a couple of months, six weeks, me and you become best friends. We're good friends. Mm -hmm. and we talk about post-close, we're going to go out for dinner, mm -hmm. gonna meet your significant others, and we're, we're always going to stay. So everything goes great. Transaction's done. You buy the house. And then we'll say, we'll see. We're going we're gonna to go to a game. Well, two weeks after moving in, you have a plumbing leak. Mm -hmm. So the first person you're going to call, because you have such a good relationship with me, is... Hey Gary, that plumber that you told me, okay, yep. what's his number? Get and I will go. Let me take care of that. I'll get Joe the plumber to come around and take care of things. Yeah, that's kind of the normal scenario. And then, but as we get further and further away from the actual transaction, our relationship as we, it's just it's just a matter of fact. You're busy with your, I'm busy with mine. So, eight months, ten months down the road, when you have that same problem with the plumber. The first time, not the, not the second time. So the first time yeah. you have a problem, but it's like eight months away from the transaction. I'm not quite as prominent in your mind as I was two weeks after closing. So Very what are you going to do? You're going to try and start figuring out how do I find a plumber? But that's what we're doing is creating an environment so that the, the homeowner has this portal where they can go and access all these preferred vendors that you know we've set up for them basically which is which is through my home's intel so you created a portal to manage the home for me as the consumer who who bought one with you and to manage in essence the wealth over the yeah time so i home. think it's it's always been like the holy grail how do we stay in touch with a homeowner past the close and oh yeah there's my home's intel so this is this is a this is a service that that we're providing. Okay. That our clients can access, so we introduce them through the agents of the closing. But also, if you just want to go and access this to create a portal for yourself to go register your address, because it's really it's a hub for your home. So that anytime you can go and access this, and then it gives you access to the vendors financing refi um gives you the the value of your home so it's an abm in there but really it's kind of like the one-stop shop it's it's this is going to sound like a little crazy but it's kind of like mixing carfax with your um, angie's list and then all these opportunities to uh, improve the value of your home by getting connected to people that can come in and actually say that if you did a if you were to remodel your kitchen well what's what value is that going to add to to your house and then 
it's going to supply you with approved vendors that can actually give you some quotes and actually go through with that. So it's uh, it's not focused on the agent per se. Yeah. It's focused on what the homeowner wants, which is, you know, they need the agent every five to 10 years or in LA even longer, but they want all those resources at the fingertips so they don't have to go scouring through um, Google or asking people for referrals. They can come to us a, a central point where we have our vendors, which is, I would say, our mm. vendors. So that's kind of like my personal Angie's list. It's like, here's my, an old phrase, but here's my Rolodex. Now you've got access to the people that I use. The, if I need somebody to come and fix uh, my plumbing, this is my guy. And if I'm, I'm going to introduce him to you. So now you're going to be um, like a, a VIP client, as it were. Now, if that doesn't work for you, then we have all these other vendors that are uh, local you can reach out to. But from from our point of view, we're giving you access to our to our gold standard, as it were, making you the the VIP. So, and and from our point of view, the vendors that we work that we develop relationships with, we're what we're saying is, hey, look, we're opening we're opening the gates here to our VIP clients. So we expect right. a level of service from you that's obviously you're going to treat them the same way you would treat me because we're I'm in in a sense the biggest source of business for them. So that may be financial but it also may be we get preferential treatment. So for example HVAC it naturally gets pretty hot in the summer. Yeah. Sometimes we have a heat wave and it might get up to over 100. So at that point that's the time when you need your HVAC to be working at its premium but that's when that's when you discover these problems and next thing you know your HVAC is out. So now who are you going to call? You're going to go to My Homes Intel and find mm -hmm. find out approved plumber oh sorry hvac guy and then because you're a vip client you're going to get scheduled in ahead of other people well that's why i love this because you solved for this whole thing man you put you're putting your company you're putting yourself your agents in front of the homeowner every time they're going to need us right so, well so not necessarily, the, value add, necessarily us, the agent but yeah, yeah. But now it's like they need us because you gave them this tool that puts us at the front of everything here that they need. Yeah. That's why I love this. So now I have a question for you. How how the hell did you get everybody on this? Because you have you you've got to have more than a hundred thousand people in your database. How do you well, get everybody on there? So there's two ways. So you know, I've been, we've been in business. Hey, my dog's about to pop up into the screen. There he is. <laughs> uh, hey, no fair. I might get mine. Where is it? Yeah. So we, you know, we've been in business for, I started the team back in 2004. So our database is probably around about 350,000 people. Obviously not all of those are, are people that were still in contact. There's going to be natural wastage, but I think, the way that we're, we're contacting people is through right now, if we have a closing right now, the agent is, is, is the gatekeeper as it were to this service. So that's something that you're going to be talking about. So for two weeks while I'm walking with you, it's like, we got access, we make you a VIP client just in um, my homes. Intel is, is the portal where you can go and access this. Also see um, the value of your home. All right. So we're building this up. And from that, we're, bring, we're introducing our newer clients. So the past clients, we have the ability to, to market to those and email them because we're doing what we call, we're segmenting our database and we're constantly having email updates and newsletters and then introducing this, this homeowner portal, which is obviously no cost to the user but it gives them access to, to a, a central centralized location for everything that's to do with the home, which is the value of the home, the vendors, the um, all the resources that you kind of need with with it with owning a home. So just marketing marketing it to them. You know what, um, man? You yep. just 
you just gave me an idea, obviously, because we're, we're jumping in. And yes, we'll let everybody know uh, how Gary built this. So if you want to build it, you can build it too. Uh, but Gary, you gave me an idea, man. Like I'm looking at your site. And for those of you who are just jumping in, where's your site? Here it is. My Homes Intel. Yeah. So the so let, to explain why, because that wouldn't make sense maybe in California, but locally, my advertising branding for the team and the brokerage is, is all around don't sell without the Intel. So the Intel, I'm trying to a subtle, subtle association. So my home's Dude. Intel and our branding is don't sell without the Intel. You should, I love this. And you know what you should do? You should, um, you can do this faster than, than I can. So I'm telling you, okay. <laughs> you should, you should create little stickers and, you should, when you're going through the home after somebody sold it, put it on the water heater, put it on the AC, put it on everything. So people, the homeowner. I, yeah. So th that, to, to be honest, that's the value of 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 um, working with some of the, the vendors that we're working with. So in essence, they don't become vendors, they become partners because like my HVAC guy, he's uh, already saying, well, how do I get my clients into your database? Because he's seen the value of the fact that we're exposing it to all of our clients because for every client that we have, really? at some point they're going to need an HVAC. But he thinks, well, how do I bring my clients in? Because they want to see what their home's worth. They're also going to want to be part of this network of that we're building of it's kind of like a country club where all the vendors are all going to work together. They all yeah. want to support each other. So when the plumber is aware of something that's needed and then they go and they fix, I don't know, maybe you have a, what's the most common thing? Like your hot water heater, you have a massive leak. So they'll go yeah. in and replace that. But as a side sidebar to that, well, now you've got to fix the flooring. Now you've got to refit the drywall where the, the you know, the yeah. seat came through so they can make sure that we're all supporting each other and then oh because you're a vip client with my homes at intel let me make sure that i introduce you to it. so that's outside of even what we're doing so being able to bring their database because he has about eight thousand people in his database this is my hvac guy yeah this is airstream home services they want to bring their guys in so that then their clients are getting these little nudges from the from the system to bring them back to the to the portal, which in essence keep, just keeps them in front of their clients as well as uh, new clients. This is good, man. This is good because now now that I'm talking to you, I'm yeah. getting more ideas as to what. This I is why we're talking, so that then I can steal your ideas. And Listen, find... the stickers, <laughs> the stickers, stickers are done. I've already texted the. Uh, uh, they're, well, they're watching. Um, no, I'm thinking now, like, man, like if I want to conquer a community and just give all value, because look what's happening with, with the NAR settlement and all these lawsuits, they're, they're just going to dwindle down the buyer's commission, right? And it's going to be more of a listing world, but you are solving for that long term. Now, well, I that's it. So we're, we're adding, we're not just a listing agent now, we're actually a full service and we're, we're, we're adding so much value because obviously when you have your home, maybe you're going to list it right now. But if we get you to be, become part, part of the portal, then you've got access to this over a period of time. So maybe you're not going to list right now because the, the rates are maybe too high for you to actually to want to consider going and buying something. But, you know, we keep hearing about the rates should come down maybe in the fives in a couple of years. So let's maybe. Yeah, we'll yeah, see. Hopefully. So, but but having your your presence in front of your um, your client at that time in this portal, because once once you come into the portal, the one constant there is kind of like the the team. So the agent that's associated. So we have a team of 180 agents. So it's not just me. It's it's each each agent has their 50, 60, 70, 100 clients. So. It's the agent that's that's always in front of them. It's reinforcing that association with us. And every agent, every agent has their own um, 
I guess, site within your site so that it's tagged to them. All right. So I, I won't keep people in suspense. Uh, the, the website that Gary used to build this is called Milestones AI. Uh, I'll show you. AI, yeah. There you go. And turn leads into transactions. Oh, dude, I didn't know you were on the front. <laughs> That's funny. I actually, this is, I didn't even look. That's funny. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, mm -hmm. All right. That's yeah, well, cool. we've, we've been working on this for, for a while because I think that we, we all see the value of, we know what was happening with NER. We know that things, the landscape's changing. We know that we've always had to have this contact with our clients, past clients and future clients. And to me, this is a way of solving that, but also really capitalizing on the, the value that we bring to vendors. Vendors want to have access to our clients. And then now it's like a symbiotic relationship. We're all working together to create that added value to our clients. And then, you know, like, like we were talking about. The one so question is, is the realtor. Gary, did your team build this front end a website or is that like, is that part of milestones? How did that work? So this is something we did with milestones because I think they saw the value in what we were doing. Um, and you can, I mean, this is a fairly simple site. So, um, but you do get your own uh, URL. Your, so it's a, would be like a subdomain of, of milestones. And then I just went out and bought my home's Intel and then did some behind the scenes stuff that smarter people than me know how to do and just configured that DNS so that it would point to our site. Got it, got it. And um, I don't think the cost is super expensive. You know, I don't know what the cost is, Gary, but you came in, I think really early on. So yeah. Uh, I can't speak to the cost guys, but take a look at the site. I just put up the link. It's milestones.ai. And this is where you would really are investing in yourself and investing in your future business. And yeah. it's a, like I said, it's a way of maintaining that relationship with the client that normally would, you know, we would, that's what we all aspire to. We all say, I'm going to stay in touch. We're going to, and we do these little drop buys and maybe send them a gift at Christmas. But this is something that's really adding value to the actual client so they can use it as a resource for things they're going to use in their day to day life of owning that home over the next mm. five, six, 10, 15 years. Got it. Uh, um, and Gary, you're right. And I also found the pricing. Um, there you go. It's here it is. There's a free option and then there's the $49 option. Um, instead of me scrolling through, I'm just going to put up the link so you guys can go directly there. Uh, there it is. And then I know we've got a question. Uh, you know the answer to this one more than I do, Gary. Does Milestones AI offer an app uh, for building as well? Or what does that look like? It's not an app. It's all web-based. Okay, perfect. It's not all web-based. It's just a URL. What is what has been the response for for everyone that you've put on here? The response was it's relatively early, but I think what people are seeing is the value of having a, a central resource that's like I said, it's approved clients, it's an approved Angie's list, but having that AVM, the 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 home value, because that's what we want. We want people to see that their home's going up in value. We want them to request maybe, hey, we're thinking about downsizing. How do I, what's the best way for me? Do I add value by going on and looking at what should I do if I want to improve the the the, um, the kitchen? And here's some AI. So you can actually upload your pictures, get the AI to give you an idea of what your kitchen would like, look like if you uh, if you invested it and a, kind of a range of how much it's going to cost and then what how much value does that add to your home and then make it more attractive to sell so got it the final um, response has been great but your site dude because you've got a big team you've got all the pieces in there i'm assuming the pricing is different so um, guys, call up, set up your call with or or demo. Yeah, okay. with I paid for it for the team. So obviously I've got 180 agents. So yeah. there's a lot of economies of 
scale there. Um, uh, just for those of pe those people that are asking what this encompasses, um, here's the here's the all of the things that are added in there that Gary is using. You've got finances, so it tracks the home value and equity, CMAs, all that stuff. Management, so you can manage maintenance, everything in your home, so you can track it. Home services, which is what Gary's really diving into, which is beautiful, by the way. I think that's important. And then any improvements you make, it makes estimates as to how much your home could go up in value, keeps track of all those. And then it serves like the regular MLS, nearby homes, and then a knowledge center. Gary, have you used the knowledge center yet where you guys are creating videos specifically for maybe the, the actual house or article? We started that. We actually started creating videos also with our vendors so that they'll actually have a presence here too. The, um, oh. Yeah, it's... Mark. I think as this product, and there's more and more and more people because now there's there's obviously quite a few people using it. You 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 get to benefit from crowdsourcing of ideas from other agents, and obviously, like you, you've only been on here like ten minutes, and you've given us like another twenty ideas of how to improve things. So, um, you know, I, I like the fact that for the homeowner, for our contract to close, they can upload all the documents that to do with the closings. And then obviously as a homeowner, you can upload documents that are relevant to your, um, like if you put the new HVAC and you want that, that yeah. documentation. So when you do have a problem, you can go and find it. So it's just like a, a, a resource that the more you use it, the more you see the value in it and the, the more that you can actually, um, yeah, yeah, I like this, man. This is, you know what this reminds me of over here where it says my home. Mm -hmm. What so I, I own a Tesla. Mm -hmm. And the thing I love about the Tesla is that I log into the back end, like this mm -hmm. my home section, yeah. and it has everything yeah. there. It has my insurance policy, is so, all the stuff that I can never find, like my my car exactly. manual. Yeah. And everything is there. I don't need it. And that's what you guys just did here. With it's my peace of mind because you know where it is because yeah. when tax returns at the end of the year and you need that that closing statement, boom, there it is. Dude, I love this, man. Um, so I'm excited to launch mine. So thank you for sharing those great things. What are you guys working on next when it comes to this specific site or software that you're using? Working on next? Uh, when it comes to this. It's really more about, so from my point of view, it's it's with any tech, as you know, it's about adoption, but it's really about creating the, the, the knowledge of the agents themselves to see the value add so that when they actually go out and use this, they can say from, from experience, this has been really valuable to me. So really educating everybody. I just moved. This is why I'm not in a fancy studio like you. Um, so I'm really seen the benefit of being able to kind of work with our vendors and utilize all the services um, and have them in that portal to know where to go to because uh, it it really is you that's probably one of the one of the things that you when you move you don't realize all those peripheral services that you need like obviously now because i moved from a condo to a home so now i need grass cutting service. I need landscaping. I need, I need, and these are, these are vendors that I've been recommending for a while. Um, like the, the pest control, I was in a condo, so I didn't need a pest control service. Now I'm in a home. Now I need pest control service. So, um, just having all the resources in one central spot, it's been one of the things we get asked dude, uh, on that mm -hmm. it, when we, when we're representing the seller, I always get asked by the buyer, um, hey, do you have a list of all of the things that the seller, all of the vendors that the seller is using? We just want to transfer like the same gardener or the same whatever. This right. gives us the opportunity to, to not only send that list, but for what you're doing, it allows you to now give more value to your partners, to your service oh, providers. Because awesome. you're like, hey. We're transferring you guys over here. Now you're helping the new buyers and you're still going to help the sellers. 
and I think I think that's that's the the appeal. It's you we're helping each other and we're helping the clients, but we're also helping all of our vendors and partners, which it just snowballs. It's just a, a perfect synergy to develop a, a, a bigger science, symbiotic world where we're all we're all vested in the same thing, which is making sure that the client's happy, which in return creates more business for us because now people are going to say, well, the experience I have with the Ashton Real Estate Group was amazing. And it wasn't just through the transaction. It was, you know, six months later, a year later, they're still helping us with the with the My Homes Intel as a as the resource, as their hub for information about, like we said, like renovations, the, the refi, where's all my information? It's right here. It's yeah, it's uh it's a game changer. So you got to be part of it, really. And it's you, I think what I will say is that I've always been considered an early adopter and I like shiny objects, but this is a shiny object that if you're the first to market and you can brand it. So as I said, yeah. it's not Gary Ashton's home Intel, it's my home's Intel. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to be a client of, of the Ashton real estate group to take advantage of it. But by taking advantage of it, it's the economies of scale because that means that more of the vendors get business from it, and we're all all rising all all together with as the uh, as the saying goes. I like that, man. I like the name My Homes Intel. I was also thinking it's either going to be that that I'm going to copy you with, or I'm going to go do my own, which is my sexy home. I don't know. Yeah. It's yeah, because between, you between and I always do uh, kind of have a little disagreement on names of products, but <laughs> your names are always better. Trust me, your <laughs> names are always better. Uh, all right, everybody, check out milestones.ai. Find out what the pricing is because obviously I, I had no clue. We are doing it though for sure. Gary, dude, I love seeing your site, it gives me more ideas, and I love where you're going with this because. You're actually providing real value to the yeah. people you're helping and your business yeah. partners. It's so uh, multidimensional. That's the cliche that we're trying to do it for the, but we are. We're providing a value add for this for the client, which which helps um, distinguish us from everybody else. You know. Yeah, very true. So, for those, yeah, and for those of you who are are saying, is this Gary's software? Um, no, Gary isn't partners with them, meaning he's using the product and for it. Yeah. yeah, he's paying for it and he's, he's obviously saying great things because he's using it and it's working. So no, the company is milestones. So check them out. There is a recording of this. It's on our YouTube channel. So if you're watching this on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, wherever, go to the YouTube channel right now, lab code agents, watch the recording. And for those of you who are here, you'll also get a recording of it, or if you registered. Uh, Deborah has a great question. How do you market it? Well, from my point of view, every client that you have is a potential um, multiplier, because if, if you have one successful client that's happy with it, who are they gonna talk to? Talk to their neighbor. It's be, hopefully it becomes viral. With me, we we do it through um, through our normal marketing channels because we're doing radio, we're going TV, and we're doing billboards. But we're also doing um, mailings. Uh, what do you call those? Mailers that will go that will have you know my home's intel, and then well, that QR came up code. With stickers. Yeah. Yeah. Put it on every house. So it's. Um, I think it's one of those things is crawl, walk, and run. You can buy the mailing lists if you wanted to kind of just send that out to people and say, hey, sign up here. Because what the processes would be, you would input, you would claim your, your home address. So I just yeah. move, so I go in and, and I, I either get introduced through, through the agent or through our team or through our contract to close once you close. But if you're just out there and you have no relationship to me, but you want to have access to this site, you claim your address, you just put it in just like, you know, one, two, three Main Street in Nashville, you confirm that, and then you can upload 
the information about what mortgage you have on the property, what interest rate you have, and and then the AVM will start to work and and say, should you be refinancing? How much value, how much equity do you have in your home? What could you do to improve that? Here's the, the vendors that you can work with if you need help with all that, everything really. So I, I, it's just a great resource. And then from that, like I said, the one constant for me is that ours is the one real estate company. It's kind of like it's sponsored by our real estate company. Does that mean that everybody is going to use us when they come to buy and sell their home? You know, maybe not. Maybe they've already have a, an established relationship with their realtor, but they're mm -hmm. still going to get access to all the vendors, which is the value for the vendors. That's true because you're always winning them over as well. I like that because they're going to send you business as well. Hector right. made a good point. He says you could also use this as a as a tool to be able to reach out to past clients and offer mm -hmm. them value instead of just calling up and saying, "Hey, I'm just touching base. How's your home doing?" Uh, well, that, that's exactly because we have, like we said, three hundred thousand people. I'm, that's a fifteen year old database. So. This is a great way to not just say, hey, you're thinking about buying or selling your home. It's actually reaching out and saying, I just wanted to make, make you aware there's a, there's a service that we've just started. doesn't cost you a thing, but you'll have access there to become one of our VIP clients because obviously you were. You bought a home for us five or six years ago. And now I wanted to let you know how things have developed and grown. And this is a service that I think it will you'll find useful. No cost to you. Yeah, very true. Uh, Alexis, no, they don't monetize the vendors. That's the um, milestones doesn't do that. It's mm -hmm. just, it really depends on the user. So Alexis, if you jumped into milestones and you had a list of vendors, you can charge them to be on your site. And, and you'll find that the, the people will want to be part of that. And, you know, depending where you price it, but you want to, the way that we're doing it was originally to make sure that we could essentially offset the cost of milestones uh, and then charge maybe different levels of the, with the premium, you know, like with the co-marketing side of it, there's a, a way to reach out to different vendors, bring them in. It's You want to make sure that they're all vetted and they're, a, they're an extension of you. But I think that everybody has their personal plumber personal electrician, HVAC guy, you just have to expand on that. And then as a, as a real estate team, this is a, most vendors are advertising to reach our clients. So why not come direct to them and have that, that warm handoff yeah. rather than having to advertise and, and try and uh, separate themselves. Do you have a vendor for everything or did you have to go to Milestones to pull one up and be like, who's the local one? And then we'll vet them that way. So Milestones has that all set up. Now, like I said, we over the years, we've built our list of, of people, but there's vendors that are in there that I haven't even thought of, but Milestones has already had that set up for us. So, and it's the interesting thing is it's obviously Sunday. Uh, so I'm in Nashville. So the great accommodation, the, 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 the DMA, I think you call it. Um, we got Clarksville to the to the north west, and then we got Murfreesboro down south. There's going to be a concentration of vendors that only work that particular area. They're not going to drive an hour and a half to go do something else. So by putting in your address and the and the zip code, it allows you to find local vendors. So. Maybe a case where one of our vendors doesn't go all the way down to Manchester, which is a little further south. So, but it will also, but it will provide a, a list of vendors for people to choose from. So, thanks, man. Appreciate yeah. you. I appreciate that. Um, Calvin, no, but check them out. Everyone else who's wondering what to do with milestones, just reach out to them, book a demo. If you have any questions, you can reach Gary literally on every social channel or just <laughs> Google Gary Ashton and you'll find him in multiple pages on Google. Reach out to him. Gary, thank you so much for doing this, buddy. I appreciate thank you. it. Thanks for the ideas with the little labels. I like that. Yeah, That's good. We'll see, man. We'll see. We should do this more often. Yeah, exactly. Thanks everybody. Have an awesome day.
Tchau.